A lot of people have been getting caught cheating. Rich dudes getting caught cheating. Tiger Woods, Kobe Bryant, Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you're worth 100 mil, you should never get caught cheating. If I was worth 100 mil, I would never get caught cheating. Because I would take like 4 million and train an elite team of side bitches. <laughs> right? Women on the side that I train like ninja warriors or Navy SEALs in the art of undercover fornication, you know? Like I could go to the bathroom, a woman drop from the ceiling, suck it and fly out the window. Be like, goom, goom, bye. <laughs> and take the evidence with her. <laughs> you know. But cheating feel good, but it don't feel that good. You know, I stopped cheating because you grow as a man and you put away childish things. I hate that guilt feeling when you cheat. Like, it feel great until you come, you know. That's what cheating feel good till you come. Like, at first it's great, you be in it. Like, ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Why did I do that, man? I don't even know this chick, damn. Now I gotta go home and be phony. My girl probably cooked dinner for me. I'm an ass. <laughs> <sighs> Only way to get past this, I'm gonna have to forgive myself. <laughs> All I'm saying is don't get too fat. You know when you're too fat. You don't gotta go to the doctor, you start making that noise. <sighs> Yeah, when I know you're about to talk and I'm not even looking at you, what you say? That's too fat. That's too fat, that's too much weight on your heart. Now I'm worried about you. You know, you might have a stroke, plus you're limiting yourself. You can't have all the cool jobs. If you that fat, you can't have all the great jobs. Like, you can't be no ninja, huh? Ninja's all about stealth and quiet. You on your way to assassinate somebody, they gonna hear you coming. You gonna get us killed, fat ninja. It's just that simple. Big girls, I love you. Sorry, you see how to transition that? Couldn't say fat bitches. It'd have been a riot in this month. They'd have went off like, who the f he think he talking to? <laughs> but big girls, that's y'all. Stop making us play bad guy. If I'm hanging out with a big girl, I know what I'm in for. All I'm saying is don't make me play bad guy. Somewhere in the course of the night, big girls forget that they big girls. They scream out some little girls. Like, let me get on top. <laughs> now I gotta play bad guy and say like I didn't eat yet. I'm afraid, don't nobody even know I'm over here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let me call my mom is what I'm saying, you know. Big girls get real excited, they'll take that shit another step. They'll be like, pick me up! Which is fine, stop laughing, big girls should get picked up. Hmm? And we should have a good time. But when I say to you, let me put you down, this is not so much a request as a warning. South Beach turn every female sexy. I was walking this morning early, all the breasts out. Everybody in South Beach got their breasts out. Young ladies, old ladies, real ones, fake ones, breasts everywhere, it's like a breast buffet. And some of y'all got your breasts out, but you need to keep your shit covered up. And you know exactly who I'm talking about. If you got them stretch marks on your breasts, it looked like you MapQuest, directions from Orlando to Palm Springs, yeah. You need to keep your covered up, all right? If you at Mardi Gras and somebody was to ask you to show your breasts and you pull your shirt up from the bottom to about right here, okay? You need to keep your covered up for all the women who ain't laughing. That just means your sag so low, it don't have no support. You get it on the way home. You don't have to laugh now, it's TV. <laughs> A lot of you women got them big areolas on your breasts. That's scary. You ever seen this? You ever seen this? Big areolas, you know what I'm talking about? We call them pitchers mounds right here. The little circles, the little, remember the females on the front of the National Geographic back in the day? The little African women had them big areolas? Some of y'all got that. We sitting in the bed, pull your t-shirt off, look like a raccoon on the cover. I was about to call animal control on your ass until they jiggled, I didn't know what that was. Some of y'all sitting out there, it's getting close to Easter. Yeah, some of y'all gonna fall right into play. 
<laughs> Some of y'all ladies sitting out there with them crucifix breasts. Look at y'all looking around. What the f is he talking about? Crucifix breasts. Crucifix breasts is the breast, fellas, as long as she's sitting up on the bed, they in front of her. But the closer her back get to that mattress, I don't know whether to play with her or say her damn Easter speech over. Not everything is right for everybody. Am I right? Can I get an amen? Yeah. Okay, my pet peeve is fat bitches in animal prints. <laughs> Come if you ever seen a fat bitch in animal prints. Don't act like I'm the only one. Because, bitch, if you over 180 and you in animal prints, bitch, you look like a real animal. <laughs> Do not be surprised if a zookeeper comes and hit your big ass with a tranquilizer gun in the mall. <laughs> we have a cheetah down in front of BB. We have a cheetah down in front of BB. <laughs>